Hey traders, this is T Bradley 90 from the My Investing Club chat. I'm one of the top mentors and moderators in chat. As a special gift to our viewers on YouTube, we have created a free two hour course to help teach you how to start a consistently profitable trading business and identify high paying setups in just 30 days. There will be limited seating every week, so register for the course and reserve your spot now using the link in the description. As a special bonus for everyone that watches the entire video, we will give you the link to a free 10 hour additional mini course that has never been released to the public. Register now before all slots completely fill up. Hey everybody, we're gonna continue this uh, series on volume analysis and today we're gonna talk about low hanging fruits. Okay, or gap down plays on day two. Uh, this is a really good short uh, reversal, continuation, whatever you want to call it, play. Um, but volume analysis can help put you on the best side of the trade or help you decide which lines to choose when you're playing on day two. And I want to explain the psychology behind it as well. So volume will tell you a lot about the psychology of the other side of the trade or the side that you're playing with, okay? So let's say, for example, on PRPO, we were long on day one, okay? And on September 26th, we were long, okay? And we held it overnight, right? Because we were hoping it was going to go to the moon. We're not your average, or we're not your above average trader. We don't have an above average education. We don't understand anything about how these work. We're literally swinging for the fences and hoping. You are assuming you are part of the greater 90% of the people that trade these stocks. So here I want to show you this little addition you can use on Thinkorswim. You can do this also in DOS, many and many other platforms, but it's called Volume Profile. Okay. It looks like this, but uh, it doesn't always look this crazy. We're going to go back to this day on 926. So we're going to go to time frame, custom, type in our date here, 09, 26, 26, 9. And go to a one minute chart just to make it simple on ourselves. I've done this study uh, for stats, and I will share that with you in a moment as to why I believe this psychology is, is valid. Okay, So where is the most volume traded in this particular day? Well, Thinkorswim actually tells you where that is. It's known as the point of control right here, this red line. So the most volume traded is right around 327, or otherwise VWAP. So it'd be about 327 to 330. In reality, you could say a range anywhere between 325. I'm just moving my bar over this right here, 325, to the upward side of around 340. 325 to 340 is where all the volume is, is stuck, okay? Which you would assume that because of the sideways price action, there are cases when it is different and it is not all clustered around VWAP, but this is one where it is clustered around VWAP. So let's put ourselves in the mindset of someone that is long <coughs> or short. Okay. So a long trader holding this overnight is going to anticipate and hope for a gap up, right? And let's assume their average is right around 330 or 327, 330, somewhere in there. That's their average. Okay. The closing price on this particular day is 327. So it closed right at break even for the average buyer and seller of the trade. So when it gaps up or gaps down, what is their mentality going to be? A long on a gap up 
is going to sell, right? Because they got their gap up and that's it. They're going to sell it. Okay. A short, when it gaps up, what are they going to do? They're going to cover their position. So it's going to get stuffy, right? It's going to basically have shorts exiting and longs exiting, which is a buy and a sell all at the same time. So the range is going to get tighter. Now, the people that don't sell, okay, these are the people that you make your money off of, okay? When you make money in the market, someone else, is, someone else loses. That's just life. Now, let's fast forward to the next day. And I'll explain this theory a little bit more in detail. So, 327 was that day, or was that red level, right? And when a stock goes from green to red on the day, it's a very powerful thing, okay? See here, in the morning, it was a gap down, okay? It's rather early. It gets bought up. Opens higher than it closes, okay? So it's a gap up. Now remember what I talked about. Most short sellers are going to cover into that gap up to lower their risk or take their small loss. Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.